I swear allegiance to Donald Trump. Forget the Constitution. I swear allegiance to Donald Trump. I swear allegiance to America. And I swear allegiance to God and Jesus Christ. That's our pledge. That's our oath. How do you swear allegiance to America, but also say, forget the Constitution? That's like me swearing my allegiance to free food and then saying, I'm not hungry. Long live the president. Long live the rightful king of America. We Not a Roman salute, but a regular salute. We salute you, our leader, our hero. God bless you. Pray for our president, our real president. Your real president, Joseph Robinette Biden, if he saw that clip, would probably call you a stupid son of a biscotti cookie, like with Peter Ducey. And refresh my memory, but wasn't America founded on freedom and rebellion from a monarchy and having a king? So to embrace Donald Sean Trump as your ruler and king, wouldn't that then be American treason? And yes, I'm wearing a crown. Ironic, right? But that's because I'm the ruler of my own life. Compared to far-right Christians who are placing this crown, or maybe not this one, on the heads of far-right political leaders, thereby abandoning their Christian morals and religion. The Pope is blasting what he says are backward U.S. conservatives who have lost sight of the church's goals. Speaking to a group of Jesuits in Portugal earlier this month, Pope Francis saying some conservatives in the American Catholic Church have replaced their faith with ideology, that they have a backward reactionary attitude, adding a correct understanding of Catholic doctrine does mean change can happen over time. We've seen this before, where a hateful extremist group infiltrates a religion with a deadly geopolitical agenda. It's called the Holocaust. Some issues that have divided conservatives from progressives in the church include abortion and same-sex marriage. Francis has also been criticized for allowing divorced and civilly remarried Catholics to receive the sacrament. And now the American far right is using their incredibly hollow religion to undo our democratic processes and institutions. They are taking moral religious teachings out of the Bible and replacing them with political MAGA hollow herd mentality. Watch. Do you feel like Donald Trump is in some way God's chosen one as a candidate? I do. I think he's been sent from above. He was put in here for a reason. I pray to God every day. I pray every morning and I do thank God for uh, uh, I, I, I thank God to put his hand on, our, on Donald Trump and, and give him the right directions to lead this country and to be a leader of this, you know, in our country. So I, I believe he is. I believe there he is a gift from God that's trying to save our country. I do believe that. Christianity has now become a Trojan horse for the far right-wing extremists like Nick Fuentes, where as soon as they gain enough ground, they will tear apart that Trojan horse and invade and dismantle all of the freedoms that we fought for in the founding of this country. Right-wing Christian nationalists are not only the opposite of everything that Christianity teaches, you know, love your neighbor as thyself, seek to be last, not first, but they're also the opposite of everything America stands for because this country was founded on freedom for all, not a monarchy. And now they're trying to institute a monarchy that is treason of the American government. These are fascists. These are terrorists. And they do not hold any interests of the American people. But we must not be afraid because evil has no safe harbor in the promise that is America. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me here on The Breakdown if you smash that subscribe button and make sure to click the bell for notifications. You can also find me on my TikTok and on my YouTube, which are in the description box below. I host a morning TikTok live show. We had 13,000 viewers this morning, so you definitely want to go and check it out. And have a great day.